Hello there all you fellow PPC heroes. This is Carrie coming at you today with a little walkthrough of how to use the Keyword Planner. So I'm just going to basically help you identify what some of the new features are of it and how exactly you can use it to improve your accounts. To get into the Keyword Planner, you're first going to go into the AdWords interface and look at the Tools and Analysis bar. When you open that up, you'll see the old Keyword Tool, the old Traffic Estimator, but then also the Keyword Planner, which is kind of a combination of those two with some extra stuff thrown in. When you open up the Keyword Planner, you'll see three different choices. The search for keyword and ad group idea, that actually looks pretty familiar if you open it up. Here I've got a couple suggestions such as, let's say you're selling Star Wars collectibles, which sounds like a pretty good way to make a living. You uh, can look either for Star Wars collectibles for keyword and ad group ideas. You can also have Google scour your landing page for suggestions, or you can choose a product category. This is all pretty familiar, but one of the cool things that they offer in the Keyword Planner is improved targeting. So where before you might have to be much more general in targeting the United States, for example, you can actually whittle down the, con the country, the city, and the region. So let's say you have a really huge following of Star Wars fans in St. Louis, Missouri, and you know they love their Star Wars collectible stuff. This would be a great area for you to include in your targeting so that you really can find out what kind of traffic you're getting from this specific area and what some good ideas are. You can also customize your search based on keyword filters such as average monthly searches, which for this one I've set to at least 10. So I'd like any of the keyword suggestions that I'm given to include at least 10 searches per month. Uh, you can also include what you'd like your, um, your maximum CPC to be. And then also you have the option to hide the keywords that are currently in your account or currently in your plan, which your plan is really the, the bucket that you're using to build up these keyword ideas before you upload them into your account. So the benefit of this is that when you are given the list of keywords, you don't have to sort through all the ones that you've already got that you already know that you're interested in. Really just keeps it to just a list of the new stuff. Include or exclude, that allows you to choose if there are certain words or phrases that you absolutely want to include in your results or exclude. So let's say this particular vendor does not sell Star Wars scripts. They don't sell trivia stuff. Um, they don't sell posters. Those might be things that they want to exclude because that'll simply save them time in fishing through all of the various keyword suggestions before implementing them. You can also look at the enter or upload keywords to get estimates feature, which allows you to actually type in suggestions. So you could do broad matches of various uh, products, but in, you can also include your phrase matches and exact matches. Now when you type those in, you still have the option to include all the targeting you've got before you get your estimates. And lastly, the multiply keyword list to get estimates is one of the most fun aspects of the keyword planner. Some of you out there may have used the multiplier in the AdWords editor, which is a way to really combine different types of search terms and it sort of shuffles them together like a deck of cards where now you have all different kinds of combinations of uh, keyword suggestions. For this feature, what you would do is simply take your list one and enter whatever search terms you think might be useful. So let's say I think that Luke Skywalker, R2-D2, C-3PO, and Chewbacca are going to be pretty, pretty heavily trafficked words. And I'm also going to look for words like costumes, uh, clocks, apparel, and uh, we'll say shoes. Some people might like Chewbacca shoes. And let's say you've got actually another a uh, series of words that you would include like new, vintage, um, rare find, and original packaging. Then when you go into your targeting, let's say let's do this a little bit broader, and you want to get your estimates, this is actually going to combine all of these different terms and tell us what we've got as far as uh, potential traffic that you're missing out on. And just like the previous version, you can enter your estimated bid or potentially your uh, daily budget that, that you're looking to spend and then get some ideas for what exactly is happening here. When you go through your results, you can add keywords to your account. You can also edit the match types for what you're finding. So let's say you've got all these different options of keywords that they're suggesting. Now when you're flipping through, you may actually want to edit it and say that you're just looking for suggested match types. 
So then when you set it to exact, it actually pulls up the kind of data that would apply just to exact match types. So this is great when you're either building a new account or you're looking into an area that you hadn't pursued in the past. It really gives you a good idea of where you should be starting off with your different types of uh, bid estimates. So that was a quick run through of how to use some of the new keyword planner tools. Again, there's a bunch more that you can delve into. For example, in the targeting, you can choose Google or Google search partners, uh, depending on the settings in your campaigns. For language, you can set if you think you've got a lot of traffic coming from the Dutch and Estonian communities. And again, with the targeting of location, you can really identify that too. So when you're looking into expanding your account or improving where you're getting your, your leads, looking through the keyword planner, looking through what your new suggestions are for uh, keywords and ad groups can really give you some insight into exactly what you're missing. Well, thanks for listening in. Feel free to contact us at PPC Hero if you've got any questions about how to use the keyword planner. And thanks for listening in.